are not making your lunch, Lady Sloppy Joes. Our next guest says move over man witch. We welcome the cooking mom, Amy Hanton. Hi. Oh, that's so fun. National Sloppy Joe Day. Who knew? I did not know. Who knew? Yes. We're so you don't not just well. have to, like, dump out a can. No. Yeah. You know what? This is my grandmother's recipe. When there were really? birthday parties growing up, this is this is her, was her go-to, oh, and wow. and um, to this day it's mine. And back in the day, cool. you know, we didn't have the can of this and the seasoning packet and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So um, this recipe is great because you can you probably have most of the ingredients to make it. It serves a crowd. So if you're having a birthday party, get together. We got March Madness thing going on. Yeah. Um, uh, you can get this all in your slow cooker and let everybody help themselves. I think know? if people tell you that they don't like slow or sloppy joes, they're lying they're to you. Liars. Or they're they, they haven't tried you. mine, baby. They're yeah. yeah. Team Hoity -toity. So you love these liners. I for do. The slow I cooker. do. I, I totally need to be working for Reynolds. Um, <laughs> you, you can just get them at the grocery store. So many people don't know about these. Yeah. But these are, you know. Um, these sloppy joes are kind of messy. I yeah. mean, they're sloppy. And yeah. the, the cleaning out your slow cooker is absolutely no fun. Um, so these basically do all the cleaning for you. So we start out with four pounds of ground beef. Holy oh, yeah. And you want to cook yeah. it until it's crumbly and no longer pink. So um, there's where we're at. All okay. right. And now we're going to get it into our slow cooker. Yeah. Um, and what this does is it basically you know, gets that meat tender as all get out. Okay. You don't want it, you know, um, clumpy, uh, you know, you just want it to have a lot of flavor. And I this like is a great way to do that. the consistency, like you broke it up really this, well. Because yeah. I don't like, I like yeah. a lot of sauce. This is a great little gadget. Somebody dropped it off yeah. and said you have to use this. Um, it's called a chopster. They're really hard to find. You can find them on my website. Uh, um, they're, a, what, a spatula, a potato masher also works really well. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to get it nice and crumbly. So, yeah. all right. So now we're going to add four cups of ketchup. Here, you want me to? Yep. Just dump it on in there. Oh, um, we're going to do some celery. Some onions, good. finely good. diced, all so finely nice. diced. Green pepper. If you don't like green pepper, leave it out. Not a big deal. Some some people just don't do the green pepper. Yeah. Not a huge deal. Brown sugar, mm -hmm. oh, apple really? cider vinegar, nice. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah. Whatever, whatever you would say it. Mm -hmm. And then a can of tomato paste. All right. So mix this all together. Uh, then you're going to put the lid on it and let it just hang out for a little bit. And that really is when the magic happens, um, is it just cooks low and slow, and that meat breaks down, and it's How just yumminess. A, a few bit. hours, or all day long. long. You know what I mean? You can do it on low, mm -hmm. or you know, leave the house and come home, and your house smells amazing, and mm -hmm. dinner's done. Or you can crank up to high, and it'll be done in a few hours. So, um, But uh, the meat's already cooked. The meat's That's already the main cooked, thing. but it really yeah. just gets tender. You're, you're going to get to taste it. It makes oh. a difference. You can do this on the stovetop. Um, if you don't want to do it in the slow cooker, but really my slow cooker is you know, it's my life saver. Is Adam days. Sandler here to sing that song live or no? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> no. We were no. Okay, yeah. So you see the oh, consistency yes. of it, and then don't be skimping and get some. You got to go get some good buns. Don't you know be skimping. Don't, don't be skimping. Get don't some good skipping. buns, and then um, you know what I do sometimes? What? I actually put the potato chips inside the sandwich. Yeah. Oh crazy. yeah, That's yeah. What Little dill pickle like that. action. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not judging it. It's just not my style. Oh man. Yeah. But I respect you, ladies. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I feel like I don't even know you. <laughs> Who are you? Okay, here. I'm lots of napkins you are a must. Um, this is going to be hot as fire, Amy. This <laughs> no, is going to No, no, I turned it down to low. You're going to be okay. Look you got at napkins. that, everybody. Ooh. Really, really fun. This, this is why Amy made us sloppy joes at the end of the show. So when we sloppy this all yeah. over ourselves, it's going to be. <gasps> this is going to be hot. I will like allow lava. you to bring the this plate actually, to you. That's it's a no, great that's breakup dangerous. food. You yeah. It's a great breakup meal. Okay. If you're trying to get you, your significant other to just no longer be into you, <laughs> it's going to be hot. <laughs> it's too hot, right? I don't want to do it. Nah. Blow on it, blow on ah. it. You like? I love. You yeah, like. I love it. Maybe a little I love it. To go with I want it all day yeah. long. I know. Love and I want to just like dip the like chips. Oh, yeah. Totally. I want to just dip the chip in there. It's like the yeah. ultimate comfort food. Uh -huh. um, this recipe, of course, on my website. And if you sign up for my newsletter, I send you out free recipes every week. So I can't you hear you. Grandma. I burnt the roof of my mouth. Nothing is saying it's coming through anymore. Amy, thank you. This thank recipe. you. And a link to more of Amy's recipes. You can head to TwinCitiesLive.com and click on food. You can also get this recipe on the go with the TCL recipe app. That's a free download, ladies and gentlemen, on your smartphone. The robots are rising. I'm terrified. And soon they'll be delivering our pizzas. Say what? Wait until you see what's happening in Australia. It's